Meerkat. The meerkat is a small mammal of the mongoose family. Externally, meerkats look a lot like gophers, so uninitiated people in fact, the meerkat is actually a carnivorous animal. Their closest relatives are mongooses, which they also look a lot like, and more distant ones are the cuna. The meerkats are only slightly larger than gophers, with a body length of 25 to 35 centimeters, but their slightly elongated snout allows them to be distinguished at once they can be distinguished from true rodents. Also, their eyes are more forward, like those of all predators, while rodents have them on the sides of the head. The ears of the meerkat are small, its body elongated, and its tail relatively long, 20 to 25 centimeters. The front and hind legs are almost equal in length, small and weak. The fur is short and grayish-yellow, with faintly visible stripes on back. Sexual dimorphism is almost not expressed, males slightly smaller than females. These animals inhabit Africa south of the equator in South Africa, Angola, Namibia, and Botswana. Their favorite habitats are deserts and semi-deserts. Deserts and semi-deserts. Suricats primarily inhabit loose sands and loose soils, they are not found in areas with continuous grass cover. Grass cover, they do not occur. This selectivity is due to the fact that meerkats live in burrows that they dig themselves. Burrows of meerkats are long, and animals spend a lot of time digging and repairing them. These animals are sedentary and stick to permanent plots. Plot boundaries are guarded from neighbors, and fights are not uncommon if they are violated. Suricats are colonial animals, and their groups number from 15 to 30, more rarely up to 45 to 63 individuals. Each group is a real family, all members of which are connected by kinship ties. The head of the family is always a female, with smaller males and females, and then there are the young animals and cubs. This matriarchy can be explained by the fact that these small carnivores small carnivores, fecundity is important. Thus, the female that supplies the clan with cubs has a privileged position, and the rest of the family serves her. But that doesn't mean that the dominant female suppresses the other members of the group, she leads the same just that the younger animals spend more time building their holes. Groundhogs reproduce regardless of the season. Females take part in reproduction almost continuously, as soon as one one litter grows up and the female is pregnant with the next one. These animals have no special mating rituals, though females more often mate with with the same male of the same rank. Pregnancy lasts 77 days, the female gives birth to 3 to 5, less often up to 7, cubs. The cubs are born helpless and blind, they regain their sight after 2 weeks, and the mother feeds them with milk for up to 2 months. Older cubs start peeping out of the burrow at 3 weeks of age, and from that moment on, older siblings play a great role in their upbringing. Siblings play a major role in their rearing. They can look after the young in the absence of the older female and play with them. Sexual meerkats become sexually mature by the age of one and live three to five years in the wild, in captivity, they live up to 12 years. The meerkat's small size makes them very vulnerable, they have no means of defense against enemies, and many people like to catch them. And many predators like to catch these animals. Their main enemies are large birds of prey, eagles, etc., which look out for the meerkats from meerkats from above and catch them in treeless areas. In addition, meerkats can be hunted by large snakes, which can attack animals both in open spaces and directly in burrows. The overall mortality rate among these animals is high, usually the change of generations in a colony occurs over several years. Groundhogs are of no economic interest for humans, but they are undoubtedly an interesting object for observation. These animals are often kept in zoos and entertain visitors with hilarious poses. In captivity, meerkats in captivity and quickly become accustomed to people.